gold versus cheeks if I I didn't have to look at that. Yeah, it is actually that right. It is actually that. Incooled, up and coming, trying to get another PR win. Let's go. Uh, he wants it, man. He's been fighting hard to get into these top eights, top echelons bracket. Oh, you know what? He's been doing a good job of it. Highly sponsored SRC and Cold. In my opinion, like Incold was always one of those borderline players uh, that was always really good, but like couldn't couldn't yet break into the uh, the PR win territory. But yeah. pretty similar to uh, to actually. Oh, oh, but Sheik's oh. This is PR though. This is the territory yeah. you're trying to get into. And to oh. get into that territory, you gotta go up against the big dogs. Cheeks is Lucina. It's so, it's so insane in my it opinion. Is. Man. Like, that runoff dare? After that, he knows where Enkel wants to go and knows how to exploit Falco to the fullest. There's only one like place where, where Falco can recover like in that situation, so it's pretty predictable, but at the same time, not many Lucinas will go for that down air, oh, no. honestly. Man, I'm actually kind of surprised Cheeks went for that. We normally see kind of a turtle position from him at the ledge and more consistently try to ledge trap people and fall in that sort of category of uh, edge guarding. He is in the uh, in the kill percentage here, but like he's just playing safe. He's he waiting, is. just trying to rack up percentage, see if he can get this uh, second stop off in cooled. Uh, yeah, bright and better cheeks is what we're uh, seeing right now. And this is not the momentum that you want to see, like for uh, if you want to see in cooled win, like. Inkold's gotta like pull something out or just try to reset oh, no. for the next game. Oh, and that's an SD. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's hard to recover from fire when you're that low. Uh, and that that is a three star, by the way, uh, from from Cheeks. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, and everyone in the chat can say biased. I really do think. Falcon might work better in this matchup. More uh, I do not believe that. Um, uh -uh. I have seen him work more consistently well with this Falcon to figure out how to necessarily like get around a lot of Lucina pressure. Might actually see him going. Yes! This is Okay. So he, he might has be. taken games off of Cheeks before with Falcon as well too, so it doesn't surprise me that he's going Falcon for the game too. I think that Falcon and Falco has this, have the same problem of having trouble actually getting in, like getting initiation. But right there, immediately gets the uh, the side B. Uh, this the thing is though, his follow ups off of his uh, confirms off a of Raptor boost are what's his saving grace in this match. Always follows up with pressure very consistent, especially yeah, with like nares or F tilts to change or put him in tumble situations. But uh, the great thing, like, Falcon just has trouble dealing with, like, oh, oh no. I think he tried, I think he Raptor boosted. Uh, yeah, he was trying to up B, but sometimes you have to be, like, very precise with your A hold when you're trying to get up B, or else you get that side B snap instead. And right there, he also tried to Raptor boost again, but, like, just ran right into the sword. Ooh, and this okay. is not looking good again. Okay, the back air. right here from Chase. Gotta make oh, it back. The oh, down air. Okay, the third one? The fourth oh. one? Okay. Yeah, Cheeks is so consistent with that. It's just, it's hard to get anything off. Yeah, it, it's definitely harder for Falcon compared to uh, a lot of other characters. And the reason for that is because of how well they can juggle you. Disadvantage! But the down oh. smash coming through! It was a great call out down smash. Uh, yes, indeed. Oh, Joe. Still, he's fighting for his life, trying to get up from ledge against Cheeks. Cheeks okay. can just wait and do nothing here. Like he can just like rack up percentage and play safe. He tried to run off there and disrespect this man. Oh, okay, not pressing a button. Nice stuff for Joe. Oh, but it's even now. It's one. It's oh, one stock for one. This oh, I'm so proud. Down throw to down throw to forward air. Okay, Actually, I think that's neutral air, but. <laughs> Airs? We got we got some juggle pressure, but he's off stage. I don't know how this is a good one, oh, but it's air. not. Uh, Cheeks takes the 2-0. That was way better. I, I three stock. We saw from it, Cheeks in game one. It was, but it took him a second. If he started on Falcon, I think he actually would have had a much higher percentage. Like probably, he might have actually taken a game there. But there's no way to know. Uh, the Falco is. I think his Falco is pretty sick, and and his Falco was the one that took the PR wins, so, uh, not today, Cheeks says, not today. Not today. 
I d yeah, I do agree. If he went Falcon game one, he would have had a longer time to adapt. And Falcon needs that little extra space to like really pick apart his opponent and try to understand what sort of setups they're consistently going for so he can effectively whiff punish it. But just, he just didn't have those opportunities in hand. So good stuff to Sheiks. We got it, Bracket. Go and Cold will be in loser side, not out of the fight just yet. We have to climb from below. 